This one has totally overstayed its welcome and I'm sick of it. Well, hello there friends. My name is Nick and today we're gonna to be doing some plant purging. This is something I'm super excited to do. I think this has been a long time coming. I really wanted to share this process because this is one, not the easiest thing to do, throwing out your plants that you've tried so hard to grow and spent money on and put your heart into. And two, this is not always, uh, how, how do I wear this? This is sometimes frowned upon in the plant community. I know not everyone is happy with you when you throw out your plants. They'd rather you give them away or compost them or whatever, even though it does kind of feel like we're just helping everything else around it in the landfill break down more properly with the earth and the leaf litter, but that's kind of besides the point. If this does upset you, I'm sorry. Feel free to leave a mean comment. I really don't care. I'm just really happy I made you feel something today. But I'm not telling you to throw out your plants. I'm just letting you know it's okay. If that's how you wanna get rid of your plants, you don't need to feel the burden of finding someone to give them away or feel bad about throwing out a pest-ridden plant in the trash can. It's totally okay. Don't let anyone make you feel bad for anything you do in your life, because this is your life and not theirs. If they give you any problems, just give them a little verbal backhand and let them know who's boss, okay? But let's just go ahead and get started with this plant purge today. If I can get rid of like 10 to 15 plants, that would be really good. I don't wanna just throw out 10 to 15 healthy plants though. If I do some digging around my home, I'm sure I'm gonna find like five to 10 near death plants. And then we can consolidate, find some other ones that are just not doing it for me, but. I'm ready to fill up this bucket. Let's do it. This begonia was on my desk. I mean, it was a begonia at one point. Right now, it is just an empty pot of soil. That is going to be the easiest thing to just quickly dump in our bin, call it a day. No one can even get mad at that. It's just an empty pot of soil. So I'm, I'm feeling good about that, one down. I'm actually really happy this begonia is dead. That sounds kind of morbid, but it's just not been looking good. I've had it for like five years at this point. It was one of the plants I actually had available on my Etsy shop. That's how long I've had this plant. And it's been living in this beautiful planter, taking up this space with basically no leaves on it. And now I have this beautiful green Berg's planter that I can finally put something else in. So already I'm feeling so much better. This Hoya Iris Marie is riddled with mealybugs. Like I have never had a worse infestation with mealybugs in my entire life. And it's such a shame because I really love this Hoya and I got it from one cutting and I grew it out to six, seven cuttings. This is a huge mass of Hoya Iris Marie, but it is just so badly infested. It's just not worth fixing. So I'm gonna throw this whole thing out, but not all of it. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna salvage one piece with some shears, just because I am really attached to this plant. And if there's no roots and soil, I think this infestation is gonna be a lot easier to control. So let's just go ahead and take this cutting right here. I think this is a cute little cutting to have. It's got some new growth on it. It's got the least amount of mealybug on the plant. And in my experience, this Hoya is extremely easy to propagate. So we can start with one cutting, no harm done, and get rid of the rest. And to just feel better that we're not giving more of the Hoyas in that area some more mealybug. I've noticed there's two Hoya puba calyx that are growing right around it and they definitely have some mealybug, not nearly as bad as this. So we're not gonna go ahead and get rid of those, but we will be giving those a good spray down with some rubbing alcohol and water and soap and all that good stuff very shortly. This cutting is leaking sap on my table though, so I think I'm just gonna go throw it in the sink. I also just use the sharp sprays from the shower nozzle on the hose to clean off those mealybugs as best as possible. Could I maybe salvage more from this, yes, I could, but there is just so much mealybug on here. I'd rather just get rid of it and start fresh with that as mealybug free as possible piece that I just salvaged. It is sad, but I already feel better. This one just doesn't make me happy anymore. I've had this one for like three or four years at this point. This is a philodendron hostatum narrow leaf. Philodendron hostatums, the silver sword philodendron, I've just never had good luck growing them. I don't know why. The large leaf, the small leaf, whatever other varieties that exist, I have not once had good luck growing them and they've definitely outlasted my three strikes in your out rule with houseplants. So it's time to go. At this point, this plant just brings me no joy and I'd rather have this beautiful Berg's planter to use with something else that's actually going to bring me joy and look fantastic and grow well for me. I'm kind of having a fallout with philodendrons, <laughs> admittedly here in my own home, in my own brain. Regardless of me giving them a grow light or putting them in a greenhouse cabinet, a lot of them just don't grow very well for me. They get tiny little puny, ugly leaves, thin scrawny stems, and they get riddled in pests, specifically spider mites and thrips. I'm just not here for it anymore. I don't foresee myself bringing in any new philodendrons, but don't count them out. There always could be one that just blows me out of the water and I 
have to give it a go. So don't quote me on that. Tee -hee. And just like that, I have these two planters free, these two beautiful Bergs planters. I'm so excited to be able to plant new plants in here. I'm not gonna be running to the store and buying new plants, trust. But I am still gonna be keeping my eyes out for some plants that might look good in these planters or maybe even easier, some plants I have in my home that could be up potted into these planters. However, since we are nearing the winter months, it would probably be best to just put these in my closet until the spring and then do my repotting then. Ooh, these ones are just looking dead for the most part. This one was a Drymonia Chirubogana. I have another one that I have growing inside a little greenhouse situation, so I have faith that that one's going to pull through. This one is shriveled up in the stump. I kind of forgot about it, I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of hiding in a little plant display. That's where this one was too. I think there actually is another one over there that is, I think, even more dead than these. So I'll go grab that in a second. But this is a Philodendron Plowmanii. This one's kind of depressing. I got this one from the Philadelphia Flower Show earlier this year. After I brought it home, it just became infested with thrips. It was not fun. It kind of did pull through for a second and it produced some nice leaves. This leaf was one of them, but then the thrips came back and they just annihilated it. And I guess probably multiple things. I probably forgot to water it and whatnot, but it's just, it's trash at this point. Could it be salvaged? Yes, but I'm just, I'm not here to waste my time on it. I'd rather just get a healthier one. In fact, I saw one of these at the plant market for like $25 a couple weeks ago with gigantic leaves, multiple gigantic leaves. So the plant market is changing. If I really want one, I can get it again. It's not a big deal. And once again, salvaging a beautiful planter. I love these rustic planters, although they kind of don't have that much longevity compared to like the Berg's planters or even a plain terracotta planter. These do break down much quicker. If I was to rub my hand along this for a long period of time, I'm sure I would rub off some dust. I should go back and grab the other dead one real quick. I found two. Ooh, that one, that one is dead. That one is more than dead. This was at one point a philodendron pink princess, but I don't know how long it's been since it hasn't been. Once again, taking up one of my nice fancy Berg's planters and no roots on that. I mean, I'm not surprised it was dead. All these literally dead plants that I've been pulling out, they've been all in my bedroom. I don't spend a lot of time in my bedroom. I sleep and I work out in there and that's it. I spend 95% of my time well, I guess I spend a lot of time sleeping. I spend 95% of my awake hours in my living room, so I just sometimes don't even think about going in my bedroom and watering my plants. And it shows. There is a lot of weird stuff in this soil, some weird white stuff that smells weird. I don't know if it's like mealybug or if it's some kind of like bacteria. I have no, maybe I shouldn't be breathing it all in, but maybe that contributed to the death of this pink princess. Take the blame off me a little bit, you know? But it's fine, we got this planter back. This one, this is sad. This is a philodendron may may. I actually got this from a friend. I kind of want to sell, it's covered in spider mites. Oh God, I don't think I should be salvaging this, but because this was from a friend and I would feel bad if I just threw this straight up in the trash, I'm going to take this cutting back here. We're going to put this in water. We're going to rinse it off in the sink right now. Get as many of the spider mites off it as we can. Put it in some water, hope it perks up. If not, it's fine. It was going to, wasn't looking so hot in the situation that it was in. So it was only a matter of time before it got even more riddled in pests. I do have like another leaf right here that I can consider taking, but the pests on here are bad. It's riddled. So I think I would feel better just dumping this out and salvaging what we possibly can to make ourselves feel good or least bad, I guess, because we're not feeling good about this. But if we come out the other side with a nice cutting of this philodendron may may that hopefully in water is going to be less prone to pests than it will be in soils. That's just how I typically notice things are. Not always, but sometimes. Maybe we'll have some better luck going forward. So let's just, let's rinse this off real quick. It never feels good throwing out a plant, but it feels better in the end when you don't have an ugly suffering plant mucking up your home. Plus sometimes we just gotta put them out of our misery, you know? Now that this bucket is full of purged plant material, we are gonna dump it in the trash. If I lived in the suburbs, I would probably go in my backyard and just dump it out so I don't have to throw out a bunch of soil. But unfortunately here in the city, I can't do that. So just make and do with what I can. Once again, I'm pretty thrilled with these planters that I'm accumulating that I can use come springtime. So that has at least some silver lining. Ooh, I know one I want to get rid of. This one has totally overstated its welcome and I'm sick of it. I'm kidding, jeez. This would make a pretty good thumbnail on the trash can though. I think it would scare a couple people, don't you think? No, I'm never getting rid of this plant. This philodendron gloriosum is just looking 
terrible lately. It is covered in pests, spider mites specifically. There is just webs all over it. There's like sap on it from I don't know what. It's just, it's not looking very good and it's not making me happy. I have had this plant for a really long time. That's kind of why it's difficult to throw out. I think I got this in like 2018 as a four inch pot and it's now in a 10 inch pot and it's huge and I've taken so many cuttings off of it. But if I've had that success with it in the past, technically I could have it again. I just don't think I'm going to have it with this plant right here. This plant was at one point ridiculously hard to get your hands on and very expensive. I lucked out and I got it before the whole philodendron boom. So I only spent like $20 on this. So I think $20 for the past five years, it's gotten its money worth and I've been seeing these at plant stores once again in four inch pots for like $20 lately so I did it before and I can do it again so if I really want to grow this filled engine again I can it's just not worth it there is like a tiny little bit of new growth coming in on here but maybe I will try to salvage a piece okay there's this little baby leaf right here so I'm like why not try to salvage the baby leaf I broke the baby leaf <laughs> That's sad. All right, well, that was really all we had invested in this plant. Is there any other baby leaves coming up? There's a baby leaf over here. I don't know, you guys. I think I'm, I think it's just, I can just go get a new one if I really want a new one. Start fresh. This at one point grew well. Now it's not growing well. This plant just feels cursed. I just want to get rid of any of the plants that are just totally infested and they're just lost causes. I don't care if they have new growth coming in. They're just going to get more pests on them as they grow on those new leaves. The pests love the new leaves. It's their favorite thing. And I refuse to give the pests what they want. We're not doing it. It's not even gonna fit in here. Ugh. Oh God. <laughs> Looks like it's this new planter. This one leaf back here does look okay. Now that I'm seeing this plant up close, I'm like, oh my God, it's already in the trash. I just know you guys would feel so much better if I salvaged something from this. So I wanna do that for you guys. The good thing about philodendron gloriosum is that it constantly roots into the ground, so I don't even have to propagate a cutting if I do take a piece. It's already ready to go. And give it a little cut, get these roots out of here. Ooh. And this leaf, like I said, is, it's, it's pretty badly infested. It might not look that bad on camera, but it is bad in person. So let's get rid of this guy. This one, it's not looking good, but it's looking a lot better than what we had before. Not feeling bad about this at all. I think it looks great. I mean, it's one leaf, but it was basically one leaf when I got this. So we're starting back at square one. Now I don't have to spend $20 on a new one. Not that I was even going to because like I said, me and philodendrons just, we're not getting along lately. And with one plant, we filled up our bucket again. So let's go back to the trash. And we might as well just rinse this guy off real quick. We're on a rinsing journey today. Let's, let's go rinse. We definitely salvaged more than I was expecting to today. So whether you are pro or anti-plant purging, that's pretty good. I think we can all agree on that. There's definitely a couple more plants that we can get rid of that will make us feel really good. I am like the sweatiest person alive. If there was a word for like the most noticeable pit stains on a YouTuber, I think I would win. If that's the only award I would win here on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Nobody ever comments about it but I noticed. In my old place, I had kind of an excuse because it would get so hot because the air conditioner in like the new building was so loud, so I couldn't have it on while I was filming. I can technically have it on here. I don't need the air conditioning on right now because it's 65 degrees, but I'm still sweating, so that's cool. Love that. This fern is the saddest looking fern I've ever had. It looked good at one point. It's a blue star fern. This isn't worth it. I don't think anyone's gonna get upset with me for getting rid of that. That's just... It's not looking good. All right, we're done with that one. <laughs> what even is this? I, <laughs> this is hanging up in my wall. This is my decoration here in my wall basket. This is difficult to water because it's up high. It's just gotta remember to water it, but this being in terracotta up high where it dries out much faster than if it was in like a plastic planter, not the smartest decision I've ever made. So I've learned from my mistakes. I think this basket would rather fit a like six inch plastic nursery planter because more soil, stay moist, longer, also bigger plant. And then the plastic's gonna keep it more moist. I think that's what I'll probably do going forward. This is probably gonna be the first thing I replace. Maybe I'll go this weekend to a plant store and see what I can put in there to look gorgeous because now I'm just gonna have an empty basket on my wall or I could find something else around my home from my other 200 freaking plants that I have and find something else to go in there. But it's more fun to get something fun, fresh, new, and exciting. So maybe we'll do that. I think that was the 10th plant that we purged and it feels good so far. Everything's been ugly and pest ridden and not making me happy. And I'm already feeling much 
happier. I really don't want to throw this one out. It's a Peperomia Fuzzy Mystery. This is my third time growing this, and you know, my three strikes and you're out rule, so this is officially it being put to rest, apparently. I got it just like a month or two ago from one of my favorite plant stores here in Philadelphia, and I knew that I've had thrips problems in my home with this in the past, but I was like, I've never seen it available in person. I've only gotten it online, so why not give it a go? It was a learning lesson for me. Why am I buying something that I've had pest problems in the past for? I should be buying plants that I know I don't have pest problems with and that always grow well for me than basically gamble my money on a plant hoping that it's actually gonna grow well for the third time. So mistakes were made. I'm gonna take this out of its plastic nursery planter. This has a recycling five symbol on it. I'm not positive what that means, but I know I'm not putting it in the trash, so. Don't worry about that. This is really the first one that we're throwing out today that looks good. Like I know it looks good, but there are so many pests hiding in these rippled edges of the leaves. There's like a type of thrips on here that I've never, I don't even know what kind it is. It looks like a, like a, like a slug, like a, a very, 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 very mini slug, like microscopic size slug. But yeah, uh, maybe it's not thrips, but there's also thrips on this plant. So I've just been assuming that it's thrips. I don't even want to salvage a piece, even though it looks beautiful, just because it's just so riddled in pests. It's just not worth it. It's not a plant for me to try growing. Maybe in like a very humidity and temperature controlled vivarium would this grow well, but it's telling me that in the standard household humidity by my window here in my home, it's not the right conditions for it because it's screaming out stress to the pest. It's letting the pest know, come attack me, come suck all my juices out. I don't like the sound of that, but that's what they're doing. And none of the other plants in that window are suffering from thrips problems, believe it or not. So it's just, it's just not the plant for me. It's not serving me and it's going away. You say, I don't want you anymore. Now I have to clean that up. I think I'm gonna take one more lap around my home and see if we can find anything else that belongs in the trash. I'm honestly surprised I've held onto this as long as I have. It has like the tiniest little bit of baby new growth coming in, but I've already salvaged a piece off this plant a couple years ago when I thought this was dying for the first time. It came back to life a little bit and then it just, it's just done nothing since then. So. We're gonna dump it in the trash. We still have our other cutting of it, which is actually looking very good. It's a full ass vine of Philodendron Painted Lady. Way more than this ever will be at this point because it's literally dead. It's not completely dead. It could be brought back to life. It's just not worth it for me. And soil is wet and it was dead and not rotting. So it, I just, I don't know. It was time for it to go. And I love this planter. Like. I can't believe I've been wasting this gorgeous planter on a dead plant. I do have a lot of doubles of my planters here in my home since I have so many freaking plants. I'll often buy two of the same planter when I find it so I can use it in two different areas of my home so I don't have to commit to just one. But I only have one of these and I love it. So I'm really happy that I get to use another plant with it. I really have been willing to focus more on deliberately choosing plants for my planters. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, you'll fit in there. It's fine. Terracotta pot. How can you look bad in a terracotta pot? But I have enough terracotta. I'm ready to move on to some nicer planters. So having less plants, less planters, but more well curated plants and planters, like plants that just like they were meant to live in a certain planter. Like it was just written in the stars from day one. Like you just, you, you didn't even do it. it. It was just already like that. You bought it like that. It was, it was born inside the planter. That's the vibe we're going for. So I'm really happy that I have a bunch of planters available to start doing so. I think this is where we're gonna leave off today's video. This plant purge, it felt so good. I'm really sorry if I upset you. Like I said, I'm just glad I made you feel something, but I feel good. I feel really good that I got rid of these plants that were just causing me stress and not bringing me happiness. And now I'm going to feel that much more happiness and non-stress, whatever the opposite of stress is, relaxation. I don't think I'm gonna feel relaxed, but I'm gonna feel not stressed, less stressed. I wasn't that stressed over my plants to begin with, just some stress here and there. And now it's gone. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you don't already, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Philly Foliage. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.